G'day all to my first horror movie review on this fucking stinking hot Queensland day. Righto. You've probably all seen this film. I held off watching it for years and only recently watched it because I can watch men being chopped up, disemboweled, satellite, whatever, burnt at a stake, fucking decapitated all day. But I'd heard how much terror happens to women in here, like brutal stuff. And in my head I'd built up that a lot worse, or you see a lot worse than you actually see. It's more implied off screen. So I won't try to do any spoilers if no one's seen this film, because it's like a 2005 film. But what held me off from watching it is I heard such torture that the evil character old Mick Taylor does to this these girls in this film, I held off watching it. Now having said that, when I finally did watch it, this is a gem of a horror film. And horror to me, as much as I love films like The Exorcist and all supernatural shit, here's my premise. I don't, I don't believe in that premise because I'm an atheist. So my horror is people in the outback like this randomly grabbing you and doing fucking detestable things to you. And that's what happens in this film. And like I said, it's not that graphic when I finally watched it. But the build up to it, and it's like halfway through the film before Mick Taylor even turns up and starts doing his da dastardly things to him. But because you see, especially in the post of this girl covered in blood, and yes, shit happens to him. But how it's structured and how it's done, it's very believable. And that's a horror film to me. Like Silence of the Lambs. I'll do a review on him one time if I get enough subscriptions. And if you like this, go ahead and subscribe. Okay? I've got to have a drink. Dry throat. It's hot as fuck here today. Queensland Zone Forex. Support me, boys. But anyway, for people who haven't seen this, I'm not gonna. I'll do an overview. I won't fucking give away too much of the plot. But the basic story is: three young backpackers start off in Western Australia, and it's an Australian Aussie bloke and two Pommy girls. Coincidentally, all played by Australians. But anyway, they go on this bit of a road trip, having fun. I don't give too much of a way of the plot, but basically, their car breaks down, they get picked up by the main character, Mick Taylor, and John Jarrett is so good in this film, how he acts it, how he turns the whole Australian Crocodile Dundee, fucking Steve Irwin, the good Australian, and turns it in the second half of this film, the man should have got some kind of award. And yes, they have had made other Wolf Creeks, Wolf Creek 2 I've seen, I've seen a little bit of the TV series, but he becomes a caricature after a while. He's, it's over the top, he's like Freddy Krueger or some shit like that. But when he's, what he is in this first one, and obviously he does live if there's a Wolf Creek 2, but what he does in this one, what happens, yes there's okay stuff in Wolf Creek 2, but this is a fucking classic. See this 2005 film if you want to see a fucking great horror film. I'm not going to give too much away in case no one's seen it, but it's a very low budget film. Filmed on video, fucking a cracker. And he, John, I've met John Jarrett at one of these fucking comic things, whatever. He was there once, selling photos, and I got a photo of him. He's a very tall man. He's a very imposing man, and there is a touch of the bit tailor about him. I'm not saying he's got an underground d dungeon where he's torturing fuckers, but fuck me dead. He's an imposing character. So good on you, John Jarrett, and everyone in this. Go and watch this film if you haven't seen it, if you like horror, because this is genuine horror, not supernatural horror. This is my first film review. Now it's time to drink a bit more, because it's fucking hot as buggery in Queensland. Subscribe. Say if you want me to look at a certain film, and I'll say if I've seen it, or I'll give it a look, and I'll tell about other films. And tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of fucking Wolf Creek. Cheers, all.